Welcome back, everybody. This is Zexor with another Let's Play Diablo 3, part um, 51 of the entire game, 17 of this series in particular. We're searching for the archives of Zoltan Kull in the Desolate Sands, which is where we are. Uh, I don't know where out of all this we're going to find him. We found blood here and blood here. So I think... And this goes to the hidden aqueducts. So I'm thinking down here, the vile cavern is where we need to go to try to find it. Because um, we've pretty much explored everywhere else, as you can tell. This is a giant pit. We can't get in there. We go all the way around here, and there's no way down. Uh, at least, unless I missed something, there's no way down. So, uh, we're going to try these vile caverns. If those don't work, we're going to try up here. See, this looks like it goes to another area. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. So we'll try these first, and if those don't work, then we'll try up here and see if we can find anything that way. So. Uh, okay. More spiders, apparently, like we found in, um, the second of the two areas. I don't remember what it was called now, but the second of the two areas where we were looking for his blood. Slime spewer. So, huh. okay. It's hard to tell for me. Sometimes some of these things seem immune to the fire, sometimes they seem immune to the lightning that I have now. Just don't know. Um, so yeah, in the last, uh, in between the last clip and this one, I was starting to run out of space on my hard drive, <laughs> uh, because I use, I think I've told you before, but this, the software I use is DX Story, and it's, uh, very good quality, but it's also very large file size, so I tend to only get maybe an hour's worth of play, something like that, before I'm basically out of space, just about, and I have to... Um, I mean, I could technically go longer than an hour, but with the whole conversion process, I have to convert and make other files, and anyway, it just takes longer. So I just do it this way. So I do about an hour worth of gameplay footage. And then... Man, really? Just die. Oh. That partly because of... No, 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 don't run away. Dang it, he's gonna get away again. No, he's gonna. Dang it. Ah, I hate those guys. They always friggin' escape. Pisses me off. I so badly wanted to kill him and get all his treasure. But I don't do enough stinking damage. This weapon is does like tons of damage. I'm doing like a lot of damage, I think. I just don't do enough apparently to kill him fast enough. Irritating. Irritating. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It'd just be nice if I could stink and kill any of them ever again. I had some in the past I got Trajan from, but just not this one apparently. Anyway, uh, let's see my map. Whoops, yeah, my map, whoa, 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 wow, really? Like, my map was, like, way down here, really? That was kind of weird. Uh, okay, I've explored all that, just making sure I wasn't a turn off I missed or something. Anyway, so, because I only get, like, an hour, I basically, between this and last episode, uh, I paused and, uh, did compression on one of the parts that I had recorded already. Uh, the problem, of course, with that is... Uh, Diablo will, uh, as I found out uh, previously, Diablo will uh, time out. So you basically can't, you know, you sit for too long and it goes, um, you're logged out. And then you, you have to get back in the game. And all the areas have changed. You have different, I mean, first of all, the area isn't, that you're in is not explored anymore. You have different quests, potentially, like different side quests, I should say. Your main quest is the same, of course. But you have different side quests. 
anyway, so get that. And anyway, it's just you know, <laughs> you uh, I can only record like an hour and then I have to take a break, but keep but keep this running. So basically, I like went here and then went back and went here again, and went back, and moved around a little bit so that I was actually doing something so the game wouldn't time me out. So anyway, so in the course of all that, I um, did some exploring, uh, just where we've already been, the uh, the oasis, just the new version because again, it's changed since the last time, and uh, and I also um, oh. Holy Tome of the Bear. Okay. Anyway, um, I also um, did some selling. And, uh, anyway, and I uh, I talked to the different characters and learned some things. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Allows these people to fall into but the Templar suffering. is a little it's bit questioning. Fault. Hakan has been robbed uh, of his child to deal with the his order of his because empire. he was basically tortured to purge no different. Uh, his sins from him, supposedly. So that's basically they decided to purge his sins. They would torture him and make him go through so much pain that finally he goes mad, and then when he comes out of his madness, he's no longer a sinner, apparently. Frankly, it's pretty messed up. Anyway. So because of that, um, he's started having some doubts. Uh, you know, we had, uh, uh, well, I don't remember his name, John Dar. John Dar uh, was from his order, who had betrayed the order, right? And part of the... Part of the uh, concern, I think, and, Uh, you know, he didn't want to turn like Jondar and totally betray good. But, um, Jondar, supposedly, had read this tome. And the tome, oh hi, X the Blasphemy. Yeah, you just stay stunned there, pal. Oh, nice special every crossbow. Anyway, uh, he'd read this tome, and the tome, some of the words of the tome, apparently. What's this? I got what you need. Templar Relic, Scound Relic, Enchant Enchantress Focus. Oh! I see. Okay, very cool. Um, anyway. Um, and, uh, the words in the tome were seemed like just normal words, but when um, when he started reading them, uh, Cormac the Templar uh, started remembering his past somehow. Whoa, that's weird. Anyway, started remembering his past somewhat somehow, and so and once he started remembering his past, he remembered he had been like a uh, I don't know, a soldier of the Western March or something like that, and uh, he. Uh, you know, started, it seemed like, I don't, he didn't get into a lot of detail, I mean, it's kind of a painful subject for him, I'm guessing, but he basically, it seemed like he was remembering things from his past that were, uh, less, I don't know what you want to say, like, things that he wasn't terribly proud of, let's say, and so because of that, so we're going to level two now, let's see what my time is, uh, because of that, uh, you know, he struggled a little bit, but he wants to continue on. He said, uh, surely the, the Inquisitors were... Ah, stupid wallers, get out of my way. I'm trying to get the treasure picture, did you move? Oh my goodness, really? Two? Can I wall out of it? No. I can't wall out. Really. Really, I can't... I can't do anything. Can I take a potion at least? Something? Oh my goodness, really? Let me out! Oh my gosh. Stupid... Vile storm? Die. Friggin' die already. Sheesh. Did I end up getting the Prixie? I can't even tell. 
I don't even know if I... I guess I can look back on the video. I'll find out later if I got him. Stupid pixie and stupid wallers. Uh, anyway. Back to what I was talking about. Anyway, so, uh... So he was th basically saying that the Inquisitors who tortured him surely couldn't have, uh, or the, uh, the, gra the, whatever he is, the leader of their order, surely couldn't have known that the Inquisitors were actually doing that. So he basically was saying that, you know, he would make sure that he became aware and that the people who tortured him would get punished for, you know, using methods that weren't exactly kosher. Uh, anyway. So he's having a little bit of, uh... A, uh, you know, questioning of his faith, as it were, I guess. Or not, well, no. See, that's inaccurate to say. He's not questioning his faith. He still believes, which is, I think is awesome, because, uh, you know, it's hard to stand by your beliefs when nobody else, uh, you know, nobody else feels the same way as you. Uh, but, um, but he's, he's not questioning his beliefs. He's just kind of questioning the methods used by some of the people in his order. Like, you know, hey, you, you weren't, this wasn't approved kind of a thing. You no just kind of went off book. Or whatever. I'm more interested in the creatures hiding under oh. the set, not the artifacts. Still, if we happen to encounter them, I shouldn't mind giving them a look. <laughs> Templar's like, hey, uh, I could use some artifacts. Those would be awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that was a conversation with the Templar, with Cormac, uh, with the Enchantress. Uh, she remembered basically being buried, um, like in a tomb or whatever where she was, and uh, being left there. Uh, she talked about the wickedness of the mages, the mage order, I don't remember what they call it now, or what she called it, but the mage order, or whatever at the time, who was kind of in control of everything. She said that her master and she were fighting against that. But she was entombed, uh, and, and so she remembers being entombed, and then she woke up and several of her sisters uh, in a prophecy were supposed... She and her several sisters were in a prophecy were supposed to kind of get together and, um, you know, help fight evil or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but anyway. But, um... You're a waller? I love the waller ability, you know. Here, eat that. There you go, there you did. We have done it. Um, this will overburden me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will. Anyway. Uh, anyway, and so she she remembered that. She was sad from that and uh, struggled with that a little bit, right? The whole, basically, concept of... Uh, well, she wasn't. She didn't struggle with being buried. Sorry, but when she, uh, when she awoke, I should say, um, she sought out her sisters... That she didn't see right away, right? And uh, at least two, I think it, she said, of her sisters that she found had been um, basically killed. They had like demon wounds in them, in them or whatever. So she basically um, identify these. She basically, uh, you know, was seeking out any any of the others who existed, but she didn't have a lot of hope for them for finding them. And, uh, not to mention, she was extremely sad that they had died. So, so it was, that, was, that was cool to find out some more about her and, like, kind of how she's feeling and stuff. You know, a little character development. I always like, like, plot in games and stuff. Sometimes games are fun just if they're just complete nonsense or if they, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of violence. If you're in that mood and stuff, that's cool. But, but I'm just saying, uh, you know, generally, I like games with some plot. Even if the plot kind of doesn't make sense, totally. <laughs> it's better if it makes sense, but if the plot doesn't make sense, at least there's some plot. That's that's all right. Anyway, and okay, so this will take us back. So apparently this did not go where we wanted. Yeah. So that was a bust. Um, anyway, and so I don't, do I have enough time to even get to the, the other part? Uh, maybe, yeah. We'll see, I suppose. Uh, anyway, uh, so she, um, she was like that. She, she, uh, was surprised to find me, not find me specifically, because I guess I'm supposedly part of the prophecy or whatever that she knew, but, uh, you know, big shocker, like you never are in games, <laughs> but, uh, but she was surprised that I was in the company with Tyriel, the Seraphim, 
And so she's like, she's like, I wasn't expecting you to be with him. And I was like, well, whoops. Hang on. First do this. Identify this. Uh, anyway. Plus one vitality? Whoa. Jones two life. Up and stuff, 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 stuff. Yeah, it's... It's not as good as the one I've got, honestly. So that would not be an item for me, I don't think. Uh, put this up there. Also. Guess I can take these down here, I suppose. And then... Um... Trying to think what I should put in that final spot. I don't know. I could put these in there, I guess. That'll work. Well, those actually, realistically, though, those should really come over here with me, right? Because I can combine them in things. In fact, I can combine all of those, and then I don't have to take a slot for them. So maybe that's what I'll do. So, yeah. I, so anyway, so that was her story. Um... And then we talked to Covetous Shen, got more background on him. People, Some people think he's a god. Mistaken identity. Because <laughs> supposedly there's an, a god ripping people off who comes in the, the shape, the form of him, or whatever. So, whoops, I meant to sell this time. Uh, craft. So you can, whoops, man, really? <laughs> I'm just not hitting the right thing. Okay, so you can come over here and you can create these different, so like I can do a flawed amethyst for 10. Convert that over. And then you get a flawed amethyst over here. Flawed emerald, same thing. Flawed ruby. Fistful of gems. Banner accent. What's that one? Combine each of the following types. Oh, uh, okay. And this is the other one I got. Just combine gems, basically. As soon as I combine, I get that, so that's cool. I like jewels. Raise the jeweler to level 5, apparently. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so we got some background on him, and he does this. He lets us combine gems, make them into better gems, and then we can combine those. So we come back over here, and we go to stash, and you have some of these. So like flawed ruby, and this is a flawed ruby, right? So we take two flawed rubies, and we take, I guess those are just normal. Anyway, you combine the flawed, and you get normal. So now if we come back over here, craft. And I will combine into a single normal ruby, 25. Instead of 10, it's 25 to do this. And now that I've got a normal ruby, I can do a flawless ruby if I have two normal rubies. And so I come back over here one more time, get my other normal ruby. Now I come back over here, and I do craft, and I'm going to combine into a flawless ruby. See how that works? Nice and convenient. Boom, and now I've got that, and that is 18 strength bonus instead of like, I don't remember what it was, like six strength bonus. So if you do enough of those, because uh, you only have, right, it, so many slots in your in your weapons and your equipment and stuff if you get slotted items. So by putting this in a slotted item, you know, like this would give you 18 strength if you put it in this amulet now, because the amulet counts as an other slot. You have, if it's a weapon, it's 10 to 20 damage more, increased bonus experience by 11% if it's in the helm, and so on. These other ones will do similar effects, but whatever effects match. There, whoops, match the existing. So, we'll go ahead and pull this over here, and this, and that. Let's switch those. And is... I really need to start selling some of this. I guess I'll get this rainbow bright potion stuff. And we'll do that. Like that. Uh, something like that. Okay, sure. Whatever. Okay, so now I just go sell the rest of it to the to the merchant as normal. So I did that, and then he also, the the, uh, the artisan here, you know, Hadric, that we helped in uh, over in Tristram. So he can do similar thing but with uh, with weapons and armor where you can, you can craft them those. Your body again so that's pretty cool so get rid of that get rid of that yep yep clever dice that goes for a scoundrel so we'll leave that wait 14 life after each kill and empty socket hmm 
I'll keep it actually. I think. And then I'll keep that. Alright, because those are special, right? Alright, so we're gonna sell uh twenty-five five. That's strength. Hang on. So what do you currently have? Yours does nineteen two is all. It's plus thirty strength. Kills plus three experience. Twenty-five five forty-one strength versus your thirty strength. You don't get the experience, but that's alright. I think I'm gonna do that instead. So you've got that socketed one, so I could always add a socket later. So let's do that and then sell your old one. Uh, what? 49. Oh yeah, but it's not as nearly as good for everything else. Uh, yeah, so, whoops, no, sell, I mean, sell. Okay. 17 intellect? That goes to the enchantress. Uh, it's Templar. I'll have to actually double check on him. Let's see. What does your current relic give you? 11 experience for that is all? Yeah. This is better. It's give you more health, buddy. Ah, there you go. Alright, so now... Sure, so I'll no sell fight. this one. But I like it up here. Better view. No pesky yeah, guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, wait, what? Was that last one? Uh, 52, yeah, yeah. No, that's not as good. So, and then I'm keeping those, and I think I'm giving those to the, the rogue, the uh, scoundrel, I guess is his class. Alright, so scoundrel, higher. They will run when they okay, see us. And you are going to get. It's a token, right? Yeah, so you get those. A gift for me. Okay, and then we'll talk to you. Hire you. And welcome the chance to travel with you. And 17 intellect, right? Dex. So you don't need what does Dex do? You don't really need Dex. Dex is dodge. Yeah, no. We're gonna do that and give you that instead. You're too kind. All right, so that's good, and then I, whatever, I'll just, well, I won't worry about selling this ring. Because we need to get going, right? I need to finish. Go back. All right, let's go. Run, 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 run. We need to go faster. Wish I could somehow run faster. That would be nice. And I guess technically we're already kind of running. Oh, really? And I don't have the Templar? Failure. Failure, failure, failure. Alright. Let's go back again. Yes. I believe that we are the first people to traverse these All right. lands for a very long You're time. You're coming with me. Let's go. Yes. Wow. I might actually have to cut that part out of the video. I don't know. I don't want to like, make you guys have to sit there and have me wander back. I guess it wasn't that long. It was like, what, maybe one whole minute worth of time, I think. Alright, where are we? Now we're heading this way, yeah. Do, 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 tar pits. Like the tar pits, they slow you down. I think I commented on that before. I do like that effect. Uh, that is one thing I mentioned it before. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, so Guild Wars 2, I'd mentioned before, is coming out in December. So I'll be doing a Let's Play. Well, not Let's Play, right? I'm going to do a whole thing. I'm going to do a gameplay footage of that. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing footage of that. Uh, so you guys can kind of see how the MMO, the, the improved version of the MMO plays. Like I said, I'm not a huge MMO player. That is one that I will, I have played in the past, so I will, I'm going to play it now. I don't really do a lot of MMOs. I used to do them some, but they just go on and on. You never feel like you're ever finished. So, I don't know. I just get You won't survive that. Here 
is the uh, entrance to my archives. Let me activate the portal. Okay, so hey, uh, let's go in here, and hopefully it's a checkpoint. Hopefully, it be a checkpoint. Sweet, it's a checkpoint. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this. Let's play Diablo three, part fifty one or seventeen in Act two. In part eighteen of Act two, we will explore the archives and I guess go to the terminus. It says here, wherever that is, and uh, we're going to uh, get the next part of uh, Zoltan, uh, Zoltan's uh, body or whatever. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Until then, peace.